are you funding it? And are you funding it specifically the University of Florida? Matt Lamb of the College Fix is on this, and I think it's kind of eye-opening. Matt, appreciate the time. Thanks for having me. So what's going on at uh, UF's Health? Sure. So uh, the University of Florida, uh, they have a program that provides, I'm just quoting from their website, quote, hormone therapy, uh, gender-affirming surgical procedures, uh, which, of course, is misnamed. And uh, basically what this is, is <clears throat> this will block puberty, um, which cannot be reversed or generally cannot be reversed. They will cut off healthy organs. Um, so that might mean... Um, uh, you know, removing your ovaries, uh, removing your testicles. And this is something that really generally cannot be reversed. Um, so you could have a 16 year old making a decision that will permanently make it uh, impossible for them to have children um, to, to, to be pregnant uh, if, if you're if they're a female or to uh, produce children with a with a future wife if they're um, if they're male. So this is happening at the University of Florida with uh, within their health care department right now. Right. So the University of Florida Health, I'm looking at their website right now, just to confirm it's still going on. Um, and they uh, they offer, for, it just says for patients under 18, um, they have endocrinologists, um, which is to suppress puberty. Um, they also have uh, surgical care. So this is... Um, in addition to chest reconstruction, this is a hysterectomy, um, which is removing the, uh, the uterus and ophorectomy, which is removing the ovaries. Um, and then a, uh, I might be pronouncing this wrong. It's removing the testicles or, or kectomy. Um, and this is something that a 15 year old could walk in tomorrow. Generally, all they need is just a letter from a medical professional saying this person thinks, well, you know, this person is not a man. It's actually a girl or vice versa. And, uh, you know, then they'll just get you started on injecting you with um, with hormones off label. This is FDA has not approved these drugs to be used in this way or they'll you know get you ready to start carving you up. So, Matt, in effect, to the extent that this is happening and I suppose we don't know numbers at this point, uh, right. just that the opportunity exists. But to the extent this is happening at the University of Florida, given that they are part of the state's university system. We as Floridians are funding this. Absolutely. And then this is happening all across the country at West Virginia um, University's Hospital, University of Oklahoma Children's Hospital. I'm in Indiana. So Riley's Children's Hospital, um, which is affiliated with Indiana University. Uh, there's something like 13 red states uh that are in some way or another supporting these public universities that have these different, you know, gender clinics or whatever you want to call them. Remarkable. And um, we'll see about getting some follow up here with the University of Florida. Have you gotten anywhere with them or have you heard anything as you are bringing this to light? Uh, so we spoke to uh, Governor DeSantis's team, um, and uh, you know they basically said that they, uh, they they've mentioned the reports that they released. I think you were referencing one of them. Mm -hmm. um, his press secretary, Christina Pushaw, said that you know the governor does uh, does not support these procedures. Uh, she told the College Fix, "quote He does not support taxpayer dollars funding these experimental and potentially harmful interventions on children, um, and that there is some legislation in the work for the next." session um, and that uh, his administration also i believe is working to stop uh, state medicaid dollars um, from covering these uh, surgeries and drugs for minors incredible matt thank you very much for the uh, for the work you you do at the college fix and for finding this and, and putting on the radar it's appreciated thanks for having me